How's it going, people? Well, I'm enjoying another uh, weekend off up at Mikasa, my favorite place in the whole world, with my little buddy over there. Uh, and this will be my second new video of the new year. I'm making good on my resolution. Ah. Let's get the spirit of things. <sighs> yeah. Ah. Yeah, Loki's hamming it up. Oh boy. He's buzzing on Rachel Ray's new Trish. So he's all full of Piss and vinegar now. Anyway, uh, a while back, I saw some, uh, well, they look like they were Jehovah Witnesses or maybe Baptists or somebody. Uh, they were sitting at a Denny's and they were very haughty and arrogant and dressed for church. And they left this for a tip, a million dollar tip with Rutherford B. Hayes on it front and uh, that was their tip. Got George Washington crossing the Delaware but it's actually a Bible verse you can't you can't buy diapers with this or top off your tank. A short time later a waitress friend of mine gave me this. So this shit happens and that's Benjamin Franklin. I know he's on the hundred dollar bill. Is he is he also on the million dollar bill? But it turned out to be another tract rather than a... I didn't bother making a video out of this one but I'm giving it honorable mention or dishonorable mention because my same waitress friend uh, she gave me the best tip she's ever received. I gave her a dollar for it. <laughs> she says that's fine I wanted you to have it because she saw the video I did uh, on the million dollar tip. This is what she got for a tip. It doesn't even look like money. So in some ways it's not being sneaky. That's her tip. Thanks. <laughs> I wanted to leave this with you to thank you for the good service. You gave me since we might not meet again, will you take a minute to read this? And this did not come with any accompanying tip. Pennies from heaven, you know, but no, you know, no lucre down here in the temporal reality. But anyway, yeah, I've got certain friends uh, looking for fun stuff. This is the latest. I got this just yesterday. Okay. I bought these little cards to help me tell others about the wonderful new life that is possible in Jesus. Which is so much better than, you know, gas money to get to work. You know, or I mean, they could have even gotten a dollar and bought a lottery ticket. It would have been the odds of that being real and turning into something fantastic are actually better. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. Smooth. I found this new life when a friend showed me in the Bible that God loved me so much. He sent his only son, Jesus, to earth to be a sacrifice for my sins. And even though that sounds kind of pagan, even sounds like a human sacrifice, it's different somehow. I believed that I believed what the Bible said about Jesus. Asked him into my heart. 
and everything in my life has changed. Wow. I would sure love to see some verification on all this because, uh, I mean, God. It seems to me that getting out of religion has made thing, more things possible. Like, I own this house outright. It's a fixer-upper, but it's mostly fixed up now. And I'm about ready to quit my job of 28 years in Sacramento. Get out of my apartment and move up here full-time. Probably next year, I'm hoping. My pension and uh, maybe even just a part-time job up here. I mean, I just got to pay the taxes and the utilities and fix stuff. And I can do a lot of fixing myself. So that's how my life's changed in a secular way. But apparently this anonymous someone who didn't even write this, I'm sure. I mean, maybe they, I don't know. Maybe they got them printed up. I don't know. I'm sure it cost a fortune. I just wanted you to know that Jesus loves you. You know, the dead sacrifice guy, he ain't really dead anymore. He was just temporarily dead, but it hurt like hell. <sighs> and cares for you more than you can ever imagine. Actually, you'll have to imagine it, because that's... Well, anyway. Won't you ask him into your heart, too? See, I'm helping out. I'm spreading the word. Some cheapskate wants you to go to heaven. Okay. Uh, and that's number 231. Twenty... Wait... Uh, 20,500 printing so far of this one, according to this. But if they're mass printing, how are they keeping the count going? I'm sure they're rounding up. <sighs> the Tract League Grand Rapids, Michigan. And I'll give you their contact information. You can tell them how sweet they are for their kind offer. Um, well, I don't know if you learned anything. I learned that this person is cheap, happy. We'll probably never meet that waitress again. <laughs> but, you know, maybe in heaven. <laughs> yeah, so, you can thank that cheapskate in advance. Anyway, that's all I got. Um, just another example of cheapness. I have a few waitress friends, and they're uh, keeping an eye out for me. And a couple of housekeeping maids also. Once in a while they bring me stuff, and I haven't gotten around to it all, but I've got a ton of religious-hearted funness. I'm just kind of busy, and I this is the only time I really drink or get buzzed. So I'm not on camera, so, hey, you know, my YouTube track record? If I start making regular videos, you better start worrying about me. Anyway, stay tuned. And peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful. Whatever the fuck it is you're having, I'll have this now. All of this. It's mine. Bye. No tithing, man. It saves a lot. I've got an ira instead. <laughs>